Uh, this video is for Eduin Chronicle. Uh, this is just an interview that was conducted uh, by AMA Discord AMA, and it was they were interviewing the Sudiken One and Two creator, and he was not taking shortcuts with his answers and I really enjoyed that so let's go dive into this if you guys haven't seen this yet I will put the link in the description below so you guys can also have the opportunity of seeing this yourself so the first question that was asked was what is your favorite snack and his response was there's an apple sable cookie from Amori that I like a lot recently and I enjoy hearing about other people's favorite snacks and then they asked him the second question was interesting would you be a, would you be open to the idea of having characters that pay homage to Vicky, Jean, and Lechnek due to their ability to be anywhere? I am very excited to see original Eden characters, but was thinking these may be a fun Easter egg for old fans of your work. And then he says he likes spicy snacks. If Konami agreed to let us use those characters, we would. Unfortunately, that isn't likely, so it probably won't happen. Right there, he just tells you how much of an asshole Konami is as a company. And then the next question I, I like a lot. Can you tell us a bit more about the Ruin lenses? What are they and how do they work? Are there perhaps 27 true ancient Ruin lenses? This is Eduin, so we can't say it will be 27, but the... I guess that's a typo. There will be several. So guys, that's great news. Um, this is like Sudiken 2.0. This is like Sudiken, but with a different name, different color, different blend of ingredients, but it's still Sudiken. And they won't dare to say it's Sudiken because Konami will come down and sue their asses. So this is definitely Sudiken. The next question was, will the game have romanceable options? Asking the right question. In my previous works, there really wasn't a core focus on romance as a core feature. However, with several characters and relationships, there could be some romantic turns in the story, but they won't be a core focus. That was actually a really dumb question, I won't lie. Um, if anything, I like the bond between a parent and child. I wanted a question not related to Edith, but to Vandal Hearts and Sudiki. Playing through Vandal Hearts again, the story feels very similar to each other. So the, my question is, did you have any influences on the story of Vandal Hearts, or was it just a coincidence? Oh, that was a question. I'm sorry, I got confused. Vandal Hearts was developed on a floor close to ours, close to ours, but I had, I didn't have any direct influence on the game, on that game. Question. Sorry about this, if you already answered it. Will you be adding duels, and will there, will there, I'm sorry, and will, will the war battle version be like Sudiken 2? That's a cool question. For duels, look forward to stretch future stretch goals. For large scale battles, they will be in the game in some format. So guys, that is great news. I spelled duel wrong, but that is great news. I am excited to see those duels. I'm really excited to see those duels. That was one of my favorite features in Sudiken 2 and 1, but in Sudiken 2 the duels felt better. I remember when I was dueling uh, Luca uh, Blight, he was scary as hell to do. He was scary. I remember the first time I dueled him, he beat me and I had to restart the whole battle. It was so brutal. So hopefully they add some. Uh, that dual mechanism again if anybody and if anyone here that's listening to this video has tried out RPG maker before I have this video where I recreated that dual system and it's awesome that dual system is awesome so I do hope they add it uh, so moving forward how does Yoshi Taka Murayama feel about the option for patlet swaps on the main character something like three or four alternate coloring choices. Panel swaps are fairly expensive when dealing with pixels, so I cannot make any promises, but we are looking into that and seeing what we can do. That's not even true. I'm a pixel artist myself, and that is not expensive. I do understand this is 2.5 um, 2D, so it's kind of like a blend of 3 2D. It's a different type of 2D. It's more, 
advanced enhanced 2D pixel art, but it's definitely not expensive. If it's just on the hero, on the main character, it's not that expensive. Okay. You teased two stretch gold DLC DLCs, but we've yet to see either appear. Are you able to give us any more details on those? How large scale are they, and will will we perhaps see one soonish? I cannot give you specific, but it will be fairly long content, and we are shooting for each piece to be several hours up to 10 hours. When we can reveal the goals, will depend on how much future support the campaign gets. I don't understand this, man. This game has already almost gotten 3 million past their expectations. I love this guy. Don't get me wrong. I love Muriyama. I love him. He, he created Sudokan 2. Sudokan 2 is my favorite game. The Sudokan series is my favorite series. But I don't understand that response because the goal was 500k. That, like, super seeded, exceeded expectations beyond what they wanted. It went from 500k to a whopping 2. Point, the last time I saw it was 2.7 million or something. 2.6 to 2.7 million the last time I saw it. It's almost going. It's, it, by the time this this ends, it's going to be three million. Three million, maybe more, maybe more. I don't know, but it's crazy that they still want more support. How much money do they want? I mean, yes, let's give them all the money that they need, all the money that they want. But I mean, you guys got a lot of support. Anyways, hello, Moriyama-san. First, thank you for all. You helped me to become gra graphic designer thanks to amazing pixel pixel creations. You really changed my life. So here's my question. Will there be choices w which will modify the story or modify the difficulty? And not only in which characters can we can recruit or not. You will be able to choose multiple difficult difficulty levels from the start. When you play New Game Plus, you will have an even different specialized difficulty you can choose. First off, thank you for doing this, Moriyama-san. With so many cats filling the world of EC, will, will we be able to pet any of them? There are lots of cat lovers that will play this game. Therefore, there will be a good chance you can pet the cats. I'm sure there will be. What are what are you most proud of with Edwin Chronicles? What's your personal favorite feature thing? No spoilers if it's plot related. Being able to connect directly with all these passionate fans. This is the thing I'm most proud of on this game. Hi Moriyama-san. Do you plan on having additional joiners in New Game Plus? Also, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. I love Sudokin, Sudokin and look forward to this game. Picture. You will be able to get all of the characters on your first playthrough. I hope so. When do we get to hear more about the guild system? Very, very soon. Please keep your eyes on updates. Oh, that's good to hear. Moriyama, what made you decide to stick to the traditional JRPG formula of uh, making the protagonist a teenager? Additionally, what did you like the most about implementing and the execution of the multiple POV system in Sudokan 3? Will you consider experimenting and building upon it in the future? Young characters are more flexible and not as jarred as older characters. The POV system from Sudokan 3 was very interesting, but for this game we will be sticking with a more standard flow. I love standards, so I'm glad. However, there may be parts where you control other characters as party lead. I don't mind that. Who had the idea for a human fate fish reward? That would be Komota-san. He is the face on the fish reward graphic and thinks crazy things. <laughs> Can you please let Koji Igar Garashi, sorry if I, I butchered that name, be a secret vampire boss in the game? Sorry, it took a long time to answer this. Mariyama san was laughing. He is thinking of asking IGA Iga that, but who knows what would be what he would say. That would be cool if they did. Muriyama-san, I want to thank you for creating my favorite games of all time. Sudokan series is number one on my top list, my top ten list. Beating Zelda, Xenogear, Final Fantasy, Sub 
Nautica, and more. One thing that others haven't yet mentioned that makes Sudokan so special is the representation of so many different cultures coming together. This is carried through the music and the dialogues and opening and even in the gameplay. My question when is can we expect this sort of cultural diversity where people excuse me, where people come together like in Sudokan to be carried into Edeon Chronicles, not only in character design and dialogue, but music and gameplay and other aspects. I ask because I think this is very important in today's world. Hope of the collaboration, collaborations of cultures. I always try to make diverse games, showing multiple cultures and how they deal with war on a big scale that affects them all in a core theme. That diversity will be shown in my writing and my music. That is awesome. I love that diversity as well. Hi Moriyama-san, will there be a premium backer tier that includes your pop helmet as a reward and will it be signed? If someone really really wants it, we can certainly think about it. Perhaps. Moriyama-san, how does it feel to have control over the IP? Were you able to make decisions you would not be able to make? Able to if you stayed with a big company? Currently, there isn't any direct effect on the production, but certainly only the IP will affect what we can do with the IP in the future. For example, we won't have to make fans wait over 10 years for a sequel if we want to make it. Wow, that was... <laughs> that was definitely uh, a blow to Konami. They definitely did make us wait a long time for Sudokin, um... Which one was it? They made us wait for a long time for Sudokin 5, I know that. Um, I mean, it wasn't crazy long, but the gap from 3, I think, from 3 to 4 was short. From 4 to 5, I think it was a few years, I don't think it was 10. But, uh, Konami did make us wait from 5 to the last Sudokin game that they made, uh, which was on PSP. But it wasn't that much of a gap from the one for DS. Uh, but they weren't even like Sudokin anymore. Even though the one for DS was fun, it wasn't the same. But I'm glad to hear that. This is something we want to know. Is there any chance of Miki Haigashino coming on board to compose a track or two? I love Miki. She had the best music in Sudokin 2. That was... Oof, that music really got me entranced in that story. Higashi no san is one of my very important friends. However, she can't work on this project due to private reasons, and I want to respect that. That was really cool of him to say that. Is your team all working remotely because of COVID, or do you work together in the office? Everyone is working from home, and it's great to be able to sleep whenever you want, and no one says anything about it. How do you feel about the fan base for you for 7? That is the shark guy, the beast man shark. Sharks are awesome, right? That was one of my ideas. And this was a correct one. I think so too. Do you like the Godfather movies? I love them. Will there be a portrait? Will there be portraits and character conversations and cutscenes throughout the game? Maybe just for important moments? We do plan to add portraits and working on the UI for it. This is a question on behalf of someone who can't ask. Muriyama, will you have Nars? type characters in Eduin, those who who are self-centered and overconfident. Sorry guys, it was like a typo there. We haven't determined all the characters yet, but we plan to have some narcissistic characters which will be apparently by their fashion sense, like some Sudokan characters did. So yeah man, this, this character, I mean this game is not shying away, this is definitely Sudokan reincarnated. I love it. Sorry guys, looking at my other phone. Will we have semi-animal companions? I would like to have them. I love dogs, but the rest of the developers are cat people, so I'm in a tough spot here. Help me out. Thank you for your questions, Moriyama-san. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for your answers, Moriyama-san. Will there be characters or quests that we need to reach before a certain time, like Sudokan's Cleave. Cliff. We are thinking about whether we should add those type of characters to the game. 
where finding them or getting them to join your team is not easy to figure out. Yeah, I think they should. What do you think? I really think they should. I think for me personally, that added to like the desire to want that person and like it was kind of like a puzzle deciding how to get this person. I think that's cool. They should definitely add it. Greetings, Moriyama. Moriyama. Thank you for everything. In video games such as Sudiken and Fire Emblem, there is permanent death for characters in war battles. Have you any plans for a similar system in Eden? Six time asking this question, my only question. Man, that's a that's a great question. Let's scroll down and find out. We are thinking of certain situations in which that could occur. Okay, I hope they do add it myself. That would be cool. I love Hugo writing I love Hugo writing on the Griffin and Sudiken 3. Do you but also being able to use them separately, will we see any interesting characters interactions like that in Eden? That's definitely challenging and we need to make sure that this style of pixel art will work. If it does, I certainly like that kind of gameplay. Okay, now there I agree with him, that sort of pixel art would be expensive. Why not have a cat character that transforms into a dog or a dog to cat changing abilities? Then the cat and dog person are happy. There you go, great idea. What do you what do shark people mostly eat? Do we have an underwater world in eating one? The shark men live in the in the desert and eat the fish that live in the desert. That's weird. Uh, they when they were younger they were told they were told that shark men previously lived in the water, but they all think that it's just a fairy tale. Well that's so cool. Okay, cool concept. Do you think that it would be possible to get a booklet for EDUN? The ones in previous ones were fantastic, thanks. We don't know about the final package. will look so it's really hard to answer at this time. I hope they do add a booklet. I love booklets. Will we be able to... Ex will, be, I'm sorry. will we be able to interact with our environment as explore different towns? You will be able to perform certain actions on some of the environments. I don't know what that means. I didn't really answer that question. Will the Beastmen play an important role in the plot and world of Eden Chronicle? Both uh, you versus, uh, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that name wrong, and Gar will both be very important to the story. Awesome. Sensei, in EC, will we have multiple endings? Bad, sad, normal, good, happy, and secret ending? That would be a big spoiler, so we cannot say at this time. That would be a bit spoiler, but that tells me that yes, that is the, that is the answer to the question, yes. We already unlocked fishing minigames, can we also expect a farming minigame? Maybe bringing the livestock animals to the base? There's a lot of ideas that we have packed into the future stretch goals. Look forward to those please. How big in development, how big is the development team so far? And are all the de old developers Japanese? There are more than 10 people on the current research prototype. The staff are all Japanese developers. What is a culture? What is a creature chilling out on the on Mar Marisa Mar Marisa Marisa's shoulder, and will it participate in battle with her at all? This is Marisa's pet, and you'll get to learn more about it in the future. Will we be able to in, uh, erect multiple fortresses? and choose players to make them as leaders and generals of these towns? That sounds like Romance of the Three Kingdoms. <laughs> what the... The current thinking is that you will have one fortress town. However, we are thinking you can send some of your troops to other towns to protect them. I'm interested in knowing what this game's war system is like. Will there be an anime intro? Oh, I hope so. We aren't currently thinking of implementing an anime intro. Anime openings are fairly expensive, so we would like to use the budget on game directly. That's true. Will there be characters in the game where you can only choose one? Like Kasumi and uh, Valeria in Sudiken 2? Hee hee hee. Will you be lending your vocal talents to the end game credits music once again? Sudiken ending music had my voice in it, but it was a very small voice. However, that just may happen for this game too. I didn't even know that. Can we expect a giant character with immense physical strength? 
There are a lot of characters that haven't been decided yet, but there is certainly a chance a giant character. For a giant character. Have you seen all the fan creations out there and are you surprised that people have already cosplayed Edwin? Yes, I've seen a lot of cute and cool costumes. Makes me very super, super happy. Is there a possibility that Ms. Fumi Ishikawa will be involved in the project in the future? I started painting because of her influence. Ishikawa-san is a friend but probably cannot join this project. Will Edwin Chronicles have a regular R JRPG leveling up system or similar to the Alliance Alive system. It will have a system that is close to a normal leveling up system. Are there any unrevealed new races for Edium Chronicles we can look forward to? Sorry for having to ask more than once. The chat is moving very fast. Yes, there will be several different races. Nice looking folks like the Shark Man. What mythology inspired you to, uh, for the writing of Edium uh, Muriyama san? I haven't taken any inspirations from any pre-existing myths for EC. Thank you for, thank you for taking to. I'm sorry, <laughs> I've been reading for a long time, guys. Thank you for talking to all us all. As a final, unrelated question: What are your favorite RPGs of all time? I don't know why I struggled to read them. Sudiken and probably EC by the time this is finished. Thank you, everyone, for all your great questions. Sorry we couldn't answer them all, but we'll be doing a, a future AMA, so there will be more chances in the future. Thank you for everyone that participated. We felt your passion, and it's great. Your support is our strength and will help us fight a good development battle. You are our heroes. That was awesome. This is a long, long, long AMA. So guys, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Um, I can't wait for this game. This game's gonna be great. I'm glad that the creator is uh, on this. Um, I'm glad he made his own studio. So this game will have a long lifespan, and finally, hopefully, we get a complete story. The Sudokin was left incomplete, and that saddens me to say that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I will uh, try to make more Edium Chronicle videos. Um, for now, though. Um, you know, I do have a Discord, but it's an obsolete Discord now that Eating Chronicles has its own Discord. So if you do want to join my Discord and have it at a slower pace, I will just, you know, I will put the, the link in the description below just in case anyone wants to join it. If not, they have their own Discord as well, but it's in a much faster pace, mine is slower. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy.